Hey there guys, welcome to my channel and today it's time for a bit of an update. So nearly a year ago now I made a video showing you guys how to install 86 box on Windows. But a lot has changed since then. Mainly 86 box finally came out officially, 3.0 finally came out. And uh, a few things have changed. So I assume, well, maybe time to show you guys how to install it all over again. And this time on Windows 11, which is also something that didn't exist back when I made the video. It wasn't even, you know, it was quite a surprise. It was back when people were thinking, you know, uh, Microsoft was going to release a major update to Windows 10 with the no icons and stuff. And it turned out to be Windows 11. But anyway, um, let's head straight into action, I guess. So I set up a VM, fresh VM with almost nothing in it, just the downloads that we need. I'm going to obviously show you guys where to obtain the files and stuff. And we're going to walk you guys through everything as carefully as possible. So you're going to head to GitHub, 86 box slash 86 box, like so. And uh, that's where we're going to be getting uh, 86 box 3.0. You click on build passing and you check Oh, that's up to you actually if you need, if you want the old recompiler or the new one. You know, if you're a bit adventurous, I recommend going with the new. If you're, you know, if you're not that adventurous, just go with the old standard. But as I am very adventurous today, I'm feeling adventurous. I'm going to try the new recompiler. So... And then you have to choose between debug and the default one. The debug has a few more features. It allows you to mess with shaders and stuff, which the standard one does not. Well, let's let's go with the debug for this time. Uh, I I have already downloaded it actually. That's it's whatever. Then uh, we need the manager to manage the VMs, and we need the ROMs. So to get a manager, you go right there. So 86 box github.com slash 86 box, then you get manager. Still version 1.7.2, the same one from when we made a video back in early 2021. And now we need the ROMs, which is right here. And uh, you, if you check the right corner, there's the ROM set 3.0 release. And then you just go and Click on source code and download, and that's all you need. So NDR, debug, 86 manager, and the ROMs, that's all you need. Then we need to make folders. You should start getting creative here. Run documents, let's make two folders. So 86 box, um, latest, and then you make a new folder called 86 box, VMs, where you're going to store the virtual machines. Oh my god, I can't type. What's going on? What is going on? It's not supposed to happen. Anyway, so 86 box VMs, there you go. And then, um, let's get extracting stuff, right? Let's get right into it. So you open the debug folder. You drag off that. You cut, or you just... And uh, you know, can do it's up to you. And I, I, I like to do it this way. Then we just cut and paste it there. So there's the exe and all the stuff. The, this folder remains empty for now. Then we need the, the ROMs. So you get off that, hit cut, and we're going to make a new folder inside 86 box latest, which we're going to call. He runs and then we paste the stuff in there. All the rums. It's gonna take a little bit as it it's quite big, but it's, it's not too bad actually. And now we need the manager. So the manager can be extracted just about anywhere because it's just an exe. It doesn't so I, I've extracted it to the desktop, and that's about it. And then you can get right into action. So you Click. It's going to show you a warning that it has no settings file, something like that. And then you just hit the settings and you pick path for 
86 box, which is 86 box box latest you hit okay then the vm path where the vms are going to be saved into which is right there and then you apply hit okay and that's it it's ready to go i mean once the roms are done they're taking it they're taking their time but once the roms are done we should be able to start the machine successfully and that's about it for the video. So, as you can see, it's pretty simple. It's still simple. Just a couple of things have changed mainly on where you go to get the builds and stuff. The Jenkins page has changed a little bit. So there, there used to be like uh, the default, there was the dev one, experimental one, and so on. Now it's just debug and the default one. So, a few things changed, but concept remains the same and uh, also with the 3.0 release there's also a Linux uh, version now so we have binaries for Linux and that might be the next video how to install 86 box on Linux and how to use it which is a little trickier it's uh, a little bit more complicated than on Windows because it doesn't have the UI so you kind of have to do the configs manually but it's very cool nonetheless and the ui is coming it's under development so it's coming soon and it shouldn't be a problem anymore but anyway let's make our first vm start this vm now uh test and then we hit add and it's gonna run the virtual machine like so and as you can see 86 box 3.0 running on windows 11 just perfectly flawlessly as you would expect. So there you go. That's the video. That's the update on how to install 86 box on the windows. And, uh, well, on to the next one. Once 86 box four is out or any other major change happens that I have to make a new video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feedback's much appreciated. Comment section is right down below. Don't be shy. So if you guys want any sort of 86 box related videos like how to configure a machine how to configure a specific a time specific machine like a 95 machine a windows 98 machine a dos machine and so on you know just uh feel free to suggest it i'm gonna be taking everything into consideration but yeah i see you guys in the next one hopefully y'all take care stay safe and uh bye bye